Hello everyone, this is Super Galaxy Sam here. Welcome to the stream. I hope you all had a great week of Thanksgiving, if you celebrate, and uh, Black Friday. I opted to, I was like wishy-washy about, I mentioned this before that week, that I was wishy-washy on whether to stream during that week because it's often a hectic week and I decided in the end to not stream that week and instead use that time to focus on basically the social media and discord management side of things and getting things a bit nicer looking and spruced up. Um, for instance, there is, I will post about it on my socials, probably on coffee and Twitter. I've already posted it on YouTube, but I updated the logo. So I'm going to have more of that logo reflect reflected in more things because there's a lot of things on this channel that have my logo on it. So I got to up that, uh, update that now that I have a new refreshed logo. And um, in real life, I've also taken the time to declutter more of my living space. And hopefully the more I get more of my living space decluttered and all that, the more time I can put into focusing on this because then it will be easier to clean things. And it kind of all just goes in a circle and comes together, basically. So, yeah, uh, that's what I got to say. But with that said, let's get started. I'm actually going to do some rank match. In fact, you guys, it's not live yet because I still got to do a couple of things. But on the Discord server, I'm getting it ready to... Uh, uh, getting it ready to use Discord's current new functions for servers, which is like the onboarding shit and all that stuff, and the ability to just actively hide and select which uh, server channels you can see. So all of that on the back end is getting all sorted out, so it should hopefully be a bit more user-friendly, though at the same time I do find I don't know if other people do, but I, I do personally find Discord's new system for the channels and everything to be a little confusing. Uh, so I do have concerns that updating the server to fit how Discord's making or allowing servers to do things is going to confuse some pe people or make the server more intimidating for them but the hopes are um streamlining the server to fit how discord is currently running things with discord servers will make things easier to manage in the future and also make it easier for people to access more of the server so we'll see um I have to do this whole list of things for activating Discord's onboarding features and that's kind of the caveat there that's taking some time. I also want to update the logo. So that's, it's not even a logo, I just grabbed a random image of space. I, I want to give the server a proper logo, a proper server icon. So. Don't know yet if I want to make it myself or commission someone else to do it or uh, have it as a community event where people compete to see who's uh, winning. Discord server icon gets to be used as the official icon and in return they get rewarded some prize like a gift card or just money. So... I'll have to um, think about what route I want to go with that.
It'll likely be the first option and the second option. Or not the second option, the third option, because I'm already uh, looking at commissioning someone for one of the upcoming YouTube videos. Which I've mentioned what I'm looking for for the commission over on the Discord server. Damn it, I lagged. Fuck! No, no lag, no lag, no lag, please. I was like, I had the perfect fucking plan there. And god damn it, lag killed killed my plan. It killed my plan. To be fair, they're, they're running it through real fast, so I might be doing too long of a chase. Um, this Gravekeeper's really keeping it up, keeping it going. Um, thank you, finally. <laughs> It shouldn't have taken me that long. I should have uh, spent less time on the chase and possibly changing targets, but I did not. Okay, that was a really good owl. <laughs> yeah, no, they're like, I'm out of here. Okay. So Grave keeps going this way. If I can at least get this one person, I'll, I'll consider that good enough because I did take too long of a chase and also that lag butchered my uh, chase as well. So. Also, my mouse, my gaming mouse is wearing out. So, my gaming mouse and my keyboard are all wearing out, so, you know. Okay. So, I gotta save up money and get those replaced because they're really <laughs> worn down um especially my keyboard which i've had longer than my gaming mouse i've had my keyboard for almost 10 years now i want to say yeah i had this keyboard through college and despite having cleaned it several times over the past couple years or so um, and I mean like a good clean too, it has gotten to the point where even after cleaning the keyboard, it 
has this really uncomfortable you have it feels like you have to press really hard for the keys and that's not good for um if you want good timing in video games and all that stuff because you want a pretty sensitive uh, keyboard and gaming mouse for playing video games, especially like in competitive stuff. Alright, let's do more of this. Okay, come here. Ma'am? Ma'am. Okay, so that's working out. Okay, we're fine. do that. Plant that there. Yeah. The reason why I did that, so something I'm trying to do more of is utilize my puppets in a way that allows, basically I'm trying to uh, make more use out of them by doing things such as you know, um, area denial and, you know, things like area denial, area denial, um, placing them down in areas to, um, convince like to convince people to you know go a different way basically I don't know the English word so I just said that even though it's redundantly area denial um <laughs> 
it is literally the description for area denial. But that's that's okay. I think visually it's understandable to get what I mean. Um you come here. There we go. And it looks like the basement is open. That is good for me. I love this as a hell ember main. Yes. We love this tasty little tree. Nyak, nyak. Okay. Um, but someone's already nearby, so I can't make the most use out of it right now. <laughs> also, I still don't like what they did with uh, the phantoms. It's literally fucking useless. I really don't like maybe on the m mobile app it's a bit more uh, thorough but it's it's a bit more streamlined and feels better ergonomically but uh, <laughs> on PC using at least a mouse like mapped controls for a mouse yeah no it feels Awful. Even on, even with um, even when you don't have the controls mapped to your mouse, like your hotkeys for a gaming mouse or whatever, if you just use the keyboard controls, it is fucking awful. It does not like. It does not feel good at all. And so, when you decide, oh yeah, we're gonna make it so Hell Ember can, if you, there goes Orpheus. Uh, No. Fuck that. You are not escaping. Um. Hello, Morton. Yes, Crofius. Crofius, real. He's always like this. He's like, I want attention. I want people to notice me and give all your attention to me and me only. And it's like, Orpheus. <laughs> Thank you, Norton. Orpheus, it's 3 fucking a.m. in the morning. Just because I'm up and breathing doesn't mean you have to start crowing the moment I'm up. Because he's, he's literally a little Velcro rooster. He just wants your attention. <laughs> and how are you doing, Molten? Let me get Orpheus, because he's screaming like a bitch. <laughs> Orpheus? 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 Trophius, the nanosecond, he sees, basically, that's basically the case here. I can't, like, literally, if I leave my room to just go eat or go use the restroom or something, he starts crowing because he's like, oh my god, you left me. You left me. How dare you? <laughs> and then he's, and so he starts crowing, and then if Norton's nearby, Norton starts crowing, and then two, the two of them start crowing at each other. And it's like, hey. And sometimes this unfortunately leads 
to me just kicking Orpheus out the room, out of the room, and putting him in another room, usually the bathroom, because the bathroom at night is really dark, so that mellows out the roosters. So he ends up just kind of sitting in the bathroom for the next couple hours or so. And it's gotten to the point where it happens so much that I, and I feel super bad for doing it, that I'm like, I'm just going to get you a dog bed and leave it in the bathroom just for you specifically. Norton, Norton and Crofius for real. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly how they're like. And like it happens so much too that Orpheus literally will go. Like if I have the door closed, if I happen to have the bedroom door closed, because that's the area they're allowed to freely roam in my house. Um. If I have the door closed, but he's upstairs, Orpheus will literally walk over to the bathroom and just pitifully, sta pitif pitifully just stand in the middle of the bathroom. And I'm like, no, no, don't, don't do this. He's like, okay, I'll, I'll go to my bathroom of shame. Yes. What news do you have for us, Molten? Oh, shit. A real? Oh, nice. That's always... Getting new art supplies is always, like, a very satisfying fine feeling. Oh, nice. Yeah, I gotta break out my traditional art supplies more often these days. I haven't in a little bit because <laughs> I, I was stuck doing digital art throughout college. So I need to get back into the habit of, um... Go ahead. Go ahead. I know, I'm big and scary. I'm a big, scary hunter. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead! <laughs> it's like, fuck that! Oh, it's so funny. Like, I get it. Hell Umber's scary. But also... It's, it's Hell Umber, guys. If he doesn't have anything out, there's a good chance that... You don't have to worry. <laughs> Because that phantom's going to take time to go off. So if you're wasting your shit, just, you know, um... If, if you are being hesitant and wasting your time with the phantom, yeah, that's, that's... Like, don't do that. Just go for the rescue. If there's no puppets around or anything like that, just go for the rescue. Oh, now they're just purring. 
words of the Eldritch Gods. Thank you. It's always funny when people are like, I don't see how chickens can be related to the T-Rex. That's fucking ridiculous. And then you hear all the fucking noises they make, and it's like, nah. That's Cthulhu, bitch. It's like, that, that ain't... <laughs> that that's that's no chicken how is that a chicken and it's like no that's a chicken they make those noises it's like how what the fuck because they make some of the weirdest noises that you think would come out of like HP Lovecraft or Jurassic Park, but it's like, no, it's a, it's a bird. It's an actual bird. It's not a crow. It's not a bird of prey. It's, it's just a little chicken. Like, I can assure you, if you just pitch down the noises a chicken makes, you would get basically T-Rex noises, and probably ones more accurate than uh, the T-Rex noises they use in Hollywood, which, at least with the Jurassic Park, it's literally the sound of two turtles fucking. I'm not making this up. Yeah. It is very much a... A what the fuck moment? Also, sorry to ruin Jurassic Park for y'all. <laughs> um, if you didn't know that information, you now do. It's the truth, and I can't really change that. <laughs> the dinosaurs, the turtle VAs, no! <laughs> Yeah, it's like, why settle for turtles just having their moment when you could use chickens instead and pitch that down for more accurate and more uh, diverse T-Rex noises? Because <laughs> they're literally dinosaurs. They're literally the relatives of T-Rex. But, you know... Granted, they didn't really know that information back when JP, I think, came out. But, uh... Now you have no excuse. <laughs> it's like, now you have no excuse. <laughs> you have a better option. Gotcha. <clears throat> Girl, where the fuck you went? 
Oh, there you are. Hello. I will get you. Okay, I'm not gonna deal with that at the moment. I'm literally at three ciphers again. Ciphers are going real fast. I don't know if it's because I am rusty at Plane Hunter or <laughs> things have been changed around. I, I don't know which. Fucking hell. Something, something, they're not dinosaurs, the lore bits, yada, yada, yada. So true, because... with the, So, I read the original Jurassic Park book. And, um... I think they also touched upon this in the original movie. But somehow, it kind of just got lost in communication in the later films the Jurassic World <laughs> films especially I can't remember it's been a while but um, they talk about how um, they talk about how the JP dinosaurs aren't like true dinosaurs per se because they were like um they didn't have their missing DNA replaced with avian DNA just frog but instead frog DNA and um they actually acknowledged they actually acknowledged that they could have used bird DNA in the book literally uh i think it was fucking what's the paleontologist's name either the paleontologist or the uh numerology guy the the guy not numerology the math the, excuse me the mathematician um that uh, Jeff Goldberg uh, plays literally straight up asks them so for the filling the gaps of the DNA are you using uh, avian DNA and they're like no we're actually using frog DNA and he's like but why <laughs> why are you doing that avian DNA is basically just right there and Fucking. Mark, Mark Hamill was character. Forgot his name. But at least in the books, he's kind of like, give some bullshit excuse for why they're using frog DNA. Basically, it kind of just boils down to, because I wanna. <laughs> when you think about it, it's literally... Why aren't you using avian DNA? Wouldn't that make more sense? And he's like, Shrug. <laughs> I want to use frog DNA. And it's like, Sir. Please. You're screwing yourself over in the process. And lo and behold, it turns out they screwed themselves over in the plot process because uh, amphibians, frogs, can uh, change their sex and that includes like their reproductive organs 
<laughs> so yeah, the book acknowledges it. Why? Um, because they, the time the book came out or was being written, they knew that dinosaurs were related to birds and they had feathers and all this other stuff. And so <clears throat> the reason why the JP dinosaurs look the way they do is because uh, Hammond's characters just decided, yeah, no, fuck avian DNA. Not my homies want to use avian DNA. We're using frog DNA instead. We're shooting ourselves in the foot. In the book, he dies because he's he's not that. In the book, he's not that nice compared to in the movies. In the movies, he just seems like a jo jolly old man, but in the books, he's such a fucking um, asshole. Frog DNA had free shipping. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <clears throat> the number you dialed is not And thank you for the follow A ALPM1273. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing? I have also read the second book, The Lost World which was pretty interesting. I don't think in uh, the movies they've covered much of the second book. Like, they only, like, lightly touched upon it, but not enough, in my opinion. Early, yeah, I think in the movies they lightly touched upon it, and, like, they've lightly touched upon it in um, other JP media. But for the most part, the whole story of The Lost World is pretty much untampered with. Like, y'all have a very interesting book right there. <laughs> Actually, no. They did kind... I think it's the second or third... Okay, so the second and third movie kinda covers The Lost World, but it's... Eh? I will say, I remember the second book much better than the uh, movies that are based on that book. Granted, I've also read the book like last year, so there's also that, but still, I, I remember the book far better than the movies, and I'm a very fast reader. I breeze through both books within like uh, about two weeks each something like that maybe less Okay, I'm gonna get this bugger. Alright, cool. That's a win in my book. Like, literally, I will be able to get a tie at this rate. Because Acrobat's out, I just need to share Gravekeeper. And now they're stuck with having uh, one person focus on ciphers and the other has to decide if they want to uh, decode or um, go for a rescue. And Painter still has to, like, unless they buff Painter, Painter still has to, like, look at my player character and uh, activate those paintings in order to use the paintings. So he doesn't get a free pass. Now Composer is stuck having to rescue, which is good because now Gravekeeper will die on second chair if I catch Gravekeeper next. 
Yep, bird, bird. Okay. So I want to lock onto Grave Keep. Nice. Good job. That's like one of the riskier uh, things to do as Gravekeeper. As someone who like plays Gravekeep, it's like, um, okay, I gotta go after Gravekeep. Uh, it's like one of those things that due to how the animation runs, um, <clears throat> well, my voice is crap. Due to how the animation runs, it's like you really have to have very good timing. Fuck. Um, for it to play out the way you want to. Otherwise, Hunter's attack is gonna hit first. Because it really do be a long animation when you think about it. Because uh, Grave Keeps. Okay, I'm just gonna go for composer here. I can't find Grave Keep, so. Grave Keep's animation requires the steps of animating him to show that he digs a tunnel, he steps into the tunnel, and then he's fully into the tunnel. And I know that sounds like, oh, that's just three steps, but you have to keep in mind, all of that has to be animated. And each bit of animation takes uh, a duration. Like, it takes up time. So the more, <laughs> there's, the more that's going on in your animation, sometimes the longer the animation's gonna be. So I'm not gonna fucking, I'm like dilly-dallying my time here. If I can catch Composer, that's great, but I really want to go for Gravekeep. Or disrupt their ciphers. Fuck you. <laughs> you screwed up my ravens. Yes, screwed up my ravens. I don't like that. I don't like that you messed up my ravens. I want a pretty easy tie here, so I'm going to grave keep for that tie. Because he's already dead on chair. It's like, why, why go after your composer, who's in an annoying little spot? And hasn't been shared once when I can just go for Gravekeep who happens to be at gate and is already dead on chair. <laughs> Feeling some way about that kind of art, bruh. That's valid. That is completely valid. Okay, let's do this. We have a B badge, magician, and everyone else is either going to play lucky guy or is still deciding. <laughs> So we're at Red Church, we're gonna go with uh, 
Nightmare. And let's go, 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 go. We're going with an insulin detention build, because that's usually what I use for both Hell Umber and Nightmare. Uh, Nightwatch, I use a trump card build. Trump card and detention. Sometimes uh, insulin and detention for the smaller maps. But I like to use Nightwatch for the bigger, more awkward maps like Lakeside. Because there's a lot of annoying pallets in Lakeside. Ma'am. Get rid of your fucking child. Come here. <laughs> Get rid of the child! I'm not, I'm not, babe, I'm not watching your kid. Listen, I've been a babysitter, but not today. Oh, okay, I got you now. Early game chair. Nice. All right, put you here, you stay there. Gonna be no problem, you go do that. Hola, como esta? Okay. I know where this chick's going. <laughs> I didn't have to use shit. <laughs> he just walked over. I have played this game for too long. <laughs> it's like, you know you've played this game for a while as when you can predict a uh, survivor's every move. <laughs> okay. That, that just means that... I've improved over time. But at the same time, it's like, oh gosh. I really have been playing that long, haven't I? Okay. Um, so someone's over. I'm just going to let them do their thing because they're not going to reach her in time. No, girl, you fucking come back here. Fine. Come on, Frederick. Okay, fine. So we got two speedy fellers over here. Cheerleader and composer. Jail leader's gonna keep trying to loop me here. Oh, nice. I don't know if I want to go after their uh, last cipher. You know what? Actually, no, I'm not gonna. The composer can have that cipher. As long as I can put cheerleader in basement, um, that's going to allow me to play more defensively. Because 
if I wanted to go for an offense, I could go for mag uh not magician, uh composer, but it would be more effective. I would have more options if I stay defensive here. <clears throat> So with chair, I'm chasing her because I already have her on chair and And so I'm like, I don't want to waste my time with composer. Um, and I can catch up to her, so, you know. Magician would have been more of a pain in the butt to chase, so yeah. And how many weeks do we have left of this season? Because for those who don't know, you can actually check how many days you have left for the season um, by going up here. So we have 45 days. You can always like check by going to the exchange shop because the essences are only around for the, uh, the duration of the season. So if you go to your exchange shop's uh, rewards, it will tell you. So that's all you know. And it also tells you how many days you have for other essences, like the crossover essence. You only have 17 days left. And for the full season, you have 45. Just a, just a uh, fun, neat little tip right there. I keep hearing Fool's Gold isn't that bad to go up against, but I see him get banned a lot in these uh, low tiers. I haven't ranked as Hunter in a while, so I'm back here at Croc, but initially I was at Manticore 3. <laughs> so I'm trying to get back up to Manticore 3 because I want to hit Ogre. Not sure if I will because uh, I've been spending more time these days just trying to keep things clean and I have other priorities, but um, as in things clean like my room and my living space and all that, and I'm currently in the process of, de of decluttering stuff and deciding what to put up for sale, all that good stuff. But we'll see. I, I do want to hit or Ogre eventually. <laughs> I would like it to be this year, but it could just not happen. I don't know. It's like, it's real funny. Every single time I get close to hitting Ogre, something in my life happens where it's like, oh, I guess no, no Ogre tier yet. No Ogre tier. Ogre, ogre to yours cursed for me. Um, will I get to break that curse in the following year? We'll see. I hope I can. I would like to. Okay. Someone's over here. Yep, someone's over here.
Yeah. There we go. Gotcha. Gotcha, lady. Come here. I'm just hanging around here because someone's in the vicinity. <laughs> huh? Do I want to chase after her again? She's over there. I don't know why I'm chasing after cheerleader. To be honest. So that's probably a sign I should switch. Okay, so I did not know you can't disrupt that animation. All right. Well, you go do your fucking thing. I'm going to go look for your mites. Yeah, about that connection of yours. You're not going to get that far right now. Because um, I've been stunned three times, so now I'm immune to your stuns. And I have disconnected that, so now your partners will have to manually decipher it. Until that cooldown is over. Um... Hi, 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 hi. Postman is coming into the vicinity. Go ahead. Stump me, baby, one more time. No. Uh, just no. I swear, each time Norton goes, <laughs> I'm like, please don't give me physical whiplash. I literally feel my asthma coming up when you do that. I swear, each time I hear Norton just take a big... <laughs> it's like you remind me of my asthma too much <laughs> not that it's a bad thing it's just awkward because <laughs> I exactly know how he feels I know how he feels, even though I don't have minor's lung, I have asthma. They're two different lung conditions. <laughs> They're two different disabilities, but within the same realm. 
Orpheus, are you going to poke your head out of the blanket? <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Buck, buck to you, too. Okay, I'm going to practice uh, playing some Force Gold. Though I should probably do it on uh, custom, custom practice. They're gonna see me struggle, so after this match, I'm actually gonna take them to customs and uh, try them out in practice mode. Figure out how his skills use are actually supposed to be used. Oh, yeah, that's right. That does that. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, he moves faster without the pickaxe. And since you can hit without the pickaxe, it actually might be beneficial to not really use the pickaxe. Um, when, when chasing... Oh god. Okay. Um Okay, yeah. His movement speed seems to be faster than uh even than uh Hello Ember, even with the buff that Leo got. He's also, I, I think he's faster than Nightmare. So I think the uh, plan of attack here, when playing as him, would be to um, damage the area around you. And, uh, yes, you can join next game. I'm going to practice a little bit with uh, Foe's Cold um, in practice mode, but I'll uh, let you play first. I, I can do that on my own time. But um, I'm, I'm, currently I'm, like, trying to figure out how he works and how to play him. But I think the strategy to play him, or one of the potential strategies, is you damage the area around you, and you just chase without pickaxe, because you can hit without it. I don't know why I can't press and hold that. We can test in customs. 
Yes, that is true. Oh yeah, that's right, they have two player customs. That's right, they have two player pra practice man. We have two people. That's right. I forgot about that for a moment. Yeah, you just, we couldn't do it last time because we had three people. But this time we have, um, the eligible amount of people for that mode. Oh wait, no, that... I'm not even mad. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just disappointed I got outplayed. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not even mad. I'm just impressed and disappointed that I got outplayed. It's, it's that moment. If you know, you know. Okay, I'll invite you to practice customs. But yeah, if you know that feeling, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's, it's one of those feelings where it's like, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed and impressed. Maybe slightly miffed. But mostly impressed and disappointed. Okay, let's go. No, fuck this map. I should have not cho chosen random. But then again, I think I can uh, change the maps at will. One moment. I think I can... I hope in second two-player mode, we can change the maps. the uh, Or like the host can. Because this is an awful map. I'm sorry, but this is an awful, awful map to play on. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck, exactly. Um. Yeah, no, we can't. Quick restart. Oh, switch map character. Here we go. There you go. Uh, map. No, we're not playing on Creek Border <laughs> Race Course. Fuck that. Okay ready I'm so glad they at listen I'm so glad they added that quality of life change where you can just swap on a whim <laughs> instead of having to exit enter go through that entire process all right So this does that, and I can, no, no, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, no, <laughs> they disabled that, no, no, not in this mode, I mean I get it, but also not in this mode. How dare! Can I at least reduce fear? Okay, so I can do like a quick re- what, what does quick restart do? Okay. Oh, so that resets the ciphers. 
So there's a few things that are different uh, between this, the two-player and the single-player practice mode. In the single-player practice, you can just use your ability as much as you want. With this, you're forced to use the uh, cooldown, which is understandable, but it's also a bit annoying if you need to practice a certain motion. Because the thing I like about being able to turn off the cooldown is it allows me to do things like practice uh, repetitive movements over and over again, such as uh, knives, elbow pads. Or, you know, this motion. Or things like the throwing, you know, like that's, that's kind of important. So, apparently I can't do that. So the thing I want to practice is the throwing. So this apparently, allegedly, until you like increase the um the presence, if you increase the amount of damage on a particular area. That's how you get the chip damage. Yeah, so there you go. It's, um... When you get max presence. So... When I do that... And this, this is supposed to connect with that. And then when I, uh, I think I can, yeah, so that will explode if it's not used after a while. Um, Orpheus, why are you making whiny noises? And if I go here, I think I can, yeah. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. So with Nightmare, when I play Nightmare, um, I can actually see past this, but apparently this has collision. Oh, nope, I just hit the wrong spot. Yeah, no. So you can hit through that area as um, Norton. So if I increase presence, now I can, so if I do this and it heats up, And that is supposed to set it off, I think. I'm gonna have to reread the description. Yeah, so this disintegrates if it's not used. If I hit, what is it, the equal button? This should pull up information. When Fool's Gold strikes an obstacle with his pickaxe, an unstable ground, 50 meters. Would cause a collapse. Okay, so it only happens striking an unstable ground with the pickaxe or removing the pickaxe from unstable ground. So you would have to throw the pickaxe wants to create unstable ground and then you either throw it again to trigger it or if it's already in unstable ground you pull it out okay because his his whole ability is more confusing than some of the other hunting horses i've played throwing the ma special magnetic pickaxe striking 
subsequent throws would cause a collapse if strike wall. Helps it locate, can stay away. Automatically return to him. It's thrown. Move swiftly if full cold is stopped during this process due to reasons such as will still fall you back into his grasp. Ability presence. An instant reaction when thrown. So when all creates lasts for twenty seconds whenever all magnets resonate and cause a collapse in the respective area. Okay. So this is like to increase so this ability increases the area of unstable collapse. That's what that does. And this just allows for an instant collapse. Okay, so that's what that whole thing does. Okay. <clears throat> so, if I teleport near you, teleport to target. So, if I teleport near you and I use this ability, and you go over there, so if you go, uh, and I pull this. It's supposed to, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to understand this too, because he is, the way, so the way they wrote it for the English version, I don't know how under, like comprehensive it is in the other languages, but at least with the English translation, it's a bit confusing. Okay. So you have so you have to be within this area right here. You have to be within the area to for that to connect because if you're not you don't have to worry about that. Even if I um even if I do this you still have to be within that area. It's like your girlfriend, the shadow lady, the opera singer. Gosh, yeah. Basically, he controls a kin to the opera singer. It's just a little more convoluted because the opera singer, I would say, is a bit easier to understand. Sangria is a bit easier because it's literally, oh, you stay near the walls and shit. With this, it's... more convoluted like I really don't fucking get this right now magnetic conversion convert a rock and lasts whenever a collapse happens and causes a collapse so apparently I think hang on I think you need um two of these things. No, because it... So you just need one. Because here's the thing, you can't withdraw these. Or not withdraw, you can't put multiples down. So did, did the coffee... Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. Sucky, sucky coffee and everything is annoying as fuck. Alright. We're trying, right now, Morton, we're trying to figure out how Norton works as a uh, Fool's Gold. Because his, the way they explain it in English is so weird.
Like this, I still don't understand. This is pretty comprehensive. It's straight to the point. Like, I got this. I understand that. But they don't do a great job of explaining... Um... So my guess is this is supposed to cr increase the range. But it's really confusing. Let me take a read at it. Go ahead. Because I am not exactly getting it. You can read it in the match by, um... Wait, you play on mobile. So, I actually don't know the controls for mobile. <laughs> but on the PC, you hit the equal sign. Oh yeah, for play- that's right. Okay. We'll, uh, have you read it outside of the match. Alright, I'm not playing Survivor Norton. <laughs> I'm like- Rain instantly goes, oh, okay. Here, I'll pull it up on screen. Um... And change it in game. Yeah. Like we did for map? Okay. That's that's a good point. Uh switch map and character. I love Doctor's Ivory Tower costume. It's pretty good. Mm. Huh? Mm. Me just emoting mm. because mm. this is... Mm. where I can't really do anything but play doctor. It's like, I'm not full skull right now. So all I can do is emote as a silly little doctor. Yeah, that's what I figured. I figured it was area of effect, but I couldn't figure out how to get it to activate. Here, let me increase presence for you so you can get that going. So I'm standing here where it should happen.
stand in the purple with the rock? Okay. I am literally right next to the rock. Stand on the spray. Okay. So that happened. Oh. It's not just a boulder, it's a rock. Exactly. I forgot what movie that quote's from. <laughs> okay, so. It doesn't activate on its own, it activates. I wonder if it's the amount of uh, points of connection that causes it. Because you have three points of connection here. And I kept doing it with two points of connection. By standing in it. Oh! That makes so much more sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense, because in the trailer, they did a shit job of explaining it. They're like, oh yeah, he can detonate shit with rocks. And they don't even show him near the rocks. Okay, let's see if that remains true. So if you like throw it and stand, move down to the basement, okay. Uh, basement is over at shack. Yeah, they, in the uh, English trailer, they did not get to do a good job of explaining it whatsoever. Because the trailers are supposed to, like, show you how it works, but they didn't even show them in the uh, area with the detonation. Okay. Let's see. I'm here again. Okay. This time I'll stand outside. Okay, here. So like this. So what you're saying is what it does is it increase, increases the range? Hmm. I can also do this. Reduce fear. Wait, no, you, you have to drop me. So if you drop me, I can reduce fear. 
Thank you. Boink. <laughs> I'm back up. Um, so this time, don't do it the rock. Just uh, throw it at a wall. Throw the pickaxe at the wall, and um, it makes it where you can slick more than with the pick. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if I go over here, did you already withdraw the pickaxe? Okay, throw the pickaxe. Um, hmm. I'll also have to look at a YouTube ch tutorial because it's still a little confusing. Yeah. See, I don't have this chair. Uh huh. Oh, so. Oh, so if you use. So now if you throw it. Go ahead and throw it. That's true. Oh, so it increased. Okay. So it's not supposed to detonate on its own, per se. It just makes it so you don't have to keep throwing the pickaxe multiple times. Okay. That, that makes more sense now. Thank you for that. Yeah, I was so confused for the time. I was like, I can infer from the description its area of effect, but like the way they went about explaining it was so poor. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here, let me try. <laughs> and then after this, we can do some uh, quick matches or other games. Other uh, match modes. Here. So I'm going to increase presence. And then I'm going to teleport to you. Hello. I, I, uh, I go set up area. Okay, yeah, I get it now. Thank you for that. That makes so much sense, because the other abilities I figured out, I just have to practice them. It was just that one magnetic thing that was so confusing. Okay, let's exit. Wait, that that isn't exiting. Hang on. Uh, surrender. All right, so that makes m much more sense now. Basically, all of those abilities, so like, 
the second ability where he slides, does the cha-cha slide, that's pretty self-explanatory. But, like, the rest of them are to, uh... Basically, act as support for that main ability. Which is common for the hunters. They usually have most of their abil their secondary abilities support their first ability. Block you this way. Okay, I'm gonna deny you over here. Oh, there we go. Did I drink up the... I did drink up my... Oh, no. My drink's over there. I want more coffee! <laughs> oh, I want more dog. dog every day. Thrice a day. day. This dog is a good dog. Huh? I walk him up and down the streets. I'm gonna play Victor just cause because of that. He deserves it. And he deserves it because he is best this dog in the world. I love this dog. Good puppy. You are an excellent puppy. You Where's help Victor? me with everything. Because he is the best this dog in the world. I walk him up the streets right Thrice today a day. because of those reasons. First reason, he is excellent. Second reason, he is lovely. Third reason, he is the best this dog in the world. And this is why you walk your dog up and down the streets. Thrice a day. <sighs> I love how that professor just says something real cursed and the Emil like tries to say something but their system <laughs> blocked. It's like you know they said something in response. You pro you, you know they probably said something. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna walk my dog. Thrice a match. Excuse me, not Emil, painter. Um, I think I have mine turned off, that's why. Um, let's see here. Four. Basement's here. Ah, oh, shit, it's the fish. It's Naya. I'll walk, in, walk my dog up and down this street thrice a stream. Um, there's an option to turn on the uh, loading screen. don't know. Uh, prospector. Giving you increased vaulting.
Oh shit, the fish is here. Get out. Get out, the fish is here. Not in the fish is here, instead of the horse is here. Hello. Mini Axe Boy. That's I, that's something I don't see often. The little scrunkly. They are there, present. Dungeon is here. Okay. Oh shit, the fish is here again. Wait, no! Why the fuck are you going that direction? Why? Fuck. Oh well, she's pretty, so <laughs> I'm not mad. <laughs> Norton Clam Commission? Any luck with the Norton Clam Commission? Um, one person suggested an IDV artist to me, but if anyone wants to take on the commission, they're free to ask me. There was an attempt. I see. Yeah. <laughs> it would not let me save, just fall. That's fair. Yeah, sometimes it does weird shit like that. Cypher, cypher machine is primed. But do, but do, but do, but. The cypher machine is primed. Uh. I just hear the uh, link click in the distance. Okay. Why? Why? Oh, fucking why? No. That's not what I wanted. Uh... Here, just one. Can't accept the delivery right now, damn it. That's fine. I'm just getting out. But yes, if anyone wants to draw Norton eating many clams, please ask me. I will pay you 30 bucks. I have all the details over on the server. It's for a ship post YouTube video.
Honestly, I wish I could pay more, but uh, hopefully 30 bucks is fair because it's for like a very small basic character illustration for a YouTube th thumbnail. Like no background, um, no background, no shading, just flat color with clean lines. That's fair. And thank you. <sighs> Diggy boy. I'm waiting for Jesse to exit the match. I should have used all of those later. I haven't used them on anyone yet. All right. We found a match pretty fast. I've played with this person before, Kate Catamil. I've seen them around. I've seen a good some of these players around on the NA <laughs> server. Just another sign that I've played this game for a very for over three years. Oh no, someone didn't ready up. Okay, let me take care of that. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we'll play Reversi. We'll play a match of reversey because that should be enough time for um for the cooldown to occur. Can I become a silly little goofy on the server? Yes. Yes you can. You are totally free to. Let's see. Hmm, I'm gonna blockade this area. This way.
الذرية I know I am competitive you be sweaty for real for real <laughs> I do be like that But you are catching up. I will say that, so. Yes, I am competitive. <laughs> okay. Um Okay, you are catching up. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Jesse won. <laughs> Indeed you are. Oh shit. Biku Bot wasn't on this fucking time. Update later. I thought I had Biku Bot on. Now Biku Bot's working. Mm. Not the egg. The egg just gets offered to me right then and there. Fine, I'm taking the egg. Slorp egg. <laughs> Egg indeed, yeah. I love the timing there. You just go ahead and pull up the egg TikTok, and that person just coincidentally offers egg. You are diggy boy. You you gotta dig. You gotta do the digging crusade now.
The digging crusade has occurred 79 times. We're against a nightmare. We're, we're just, we're just, uh... <laughs> We're just 21 off. Tab. How to use dick? You uh, press one. Or the equivalent of on your device. And it basically is a mobile shield. <laughs> Fuck. Tapping the icon. Yeah, so... I think for mobile, you might have to press and hold it. I don't know. I don't know how mobile works. I just know that when you activate it, it makes him go diggy. There you go. Yeah, and currently they have it where if he uses... If he pops out of the ground before it's all used up, uh, he keeps his shovel. <laughs> Fuck yeah, finally. That worked. But oh no. Bye. Uh, uh, me, me, me. I need that shit. I need that shit. Give me that shit. Ow, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I saw you were under pallet, but I couldn't reach you because I was being chased. Well, damn. I'm going to be out of the match. Did he just yell mom? It sounds like he yelled mom. Victor flying off to the moon. Mum. <laughs> yeah, so when you're underground, um you're shielded from attacks and you can, you move a little bit faster and you can like basically use your shovel to loop hunters. I am running around as Detective Conan. I'm gonna see where these people are going. We don't even have dungeon up yet. Dang.
Oh, here he comes. A lot is coming. Hello, Jesse. And you used your uh, self heal already, so. Looks yeah. like. Yep, F in chat. F in chat, indeed. <laughs> you tried. You using the decoy was pretty smart. But yeah, unless Hunter uh, comes to pick you up and put you on a chair or someone comes to heal you, you're kind of stuck there. <laughs> This person's trying to get a 4K, it looks like. Yeah, he's downing all y'all. I just don't know if Composer has used up their self-heal. Painter I don't think has. Okay. Thank you for stopping by, Morton. I got saved when AFK. No, <laughs> that's always the worst. When you get like saved when you're away or like um, when you're lagging. I wouldn't say those are like the two worst times. <laughs> Here we go. Hmm. 
this direction. Uh-oh. Okay. I, please! <laughs> Wait, can he actually talk? How did you do that? Oh my god, how did you do that? Post-match. Man, I did not know that was a thing. Oh! <laughs> nice move. <laughs> That's so cool. They added the little these little messages. Like they didn't need to, but they did anyways. Slowly catching up. Let's see here. Uh, perhaps this way? Hmm. All right, so I'm going to try this way. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Just, oops, my finger slipped. Okay, guess I'm better. Okay. Hmm. This way. GG. All right. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves a match. <laughs> yep, so true. Also, not gonna lie, I get so, as Hunter, I get so fucking thrown off because of this damn balloon. 
It's it's just Ollie. No, you can put it back on. It's okay. I don't think they're watching. I don't know if they're watching the stream or not, but if they're not, that's just impeccable timing right there. And I feel awful. <laughs> it's okay. You can put your balloon back on, miss. It's all right. <laughs> Distress. <laughs> but yeah, if you didn't notice, uh, in the new crossover essence, um, little girl memory, she gets a crossover, uh, accessory that is a yellow balloon. <laughs> And it's so distractingly bright and in your face that personally I find it kind of annoying. But what happened is that person happened to have the accessory as I was stating. Yeah, I find that dis accessory really fucking distracting. I don't like it. And then they turned a they turn it off right then and there. And I'm like, no, it's okay. I wasn't talking. I'm. <laughs> I was like, no, it's okay. It's all right. I feel so bad now. Because <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't talking about. Well, I mean, I was, but you know. Ow. I just feel bad because since I don't know if there are if there's someone who just randomly happens to just turn off the same time I say it, or if there's someone who's lurking in t on the stream, since I can't tell the difference, I'm just like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, shame on me. Huge, huge shame on me. Big, big time shame. <laughs> oh, that's a cool effect. What accessory is that? Okay, I'm dead. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm not kiting well whatsoever. Let's see what they're doing. That's some nice audio effect. Prominent threat. Chairs fear me. <laughs> Gardener be like, chairs fear me. Woman love me.
Look at them go. <laughs> what did she switch the accessory to? I I want to look. Stop fucking moving. Oh. Do they Are you watching the stream? <laughs> uh If you're watching the stream, uh, spin in a little circle, please. I won't take that as a no, it's just my coincidence. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. Hello there, mate. Oh, lodge you coming. boy Can you wiggle, wiggle faster, Sam? Um, you mean when I'm ballooned? Or do you mean like just in movement? Because this is how fast, um, okay. Yeah, I can try, but I can only, basically the fastest I can wiggle is this amount. Like, this is me pressing the A and D keys. That's how much I can move. So when I'm in a balloon, that's basically how fast I can go.
go? Oh, there. Sorry, you're up there. Cannot use this for Shadows Hunter. Oh, poo. This portrait's glitching out. I might need to change the angle for it to look a bit better. But I think the idea is it's supposed to change image. Um, yeah. That's why. So when you interact with it, it's supposed to... Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to have a fading effect and turn off the uh, front image. So when you activate it, it hides the front image and reveals the back image. And it seems they're layered on top of each other, so that way the game doesn't need to like call it in from somewhere else. It's just right there and present with the furniture itself. That's frilly. <laughs> hey, we're with them again. So these two must be playing together. Can't use W? All right. But then how, how am I going to do my ooh speak? <laughs> How, how can I do my little ooh speak if I can't use the W? <laughs> Bannon game. Oh, okay. Not a word ban. So I can't use anything that starts with a W. Got it. Oh, you can't use your W. Okay, got it. Okay, probably the next match after this one will be the last for the night. Just because I have to work in the morning tomorrow. And I want to get a couple things done. I am navigating to the best of my ability without the W
How will you kite? Pray. <laughs> That's what I'll do. I'll just go in a general general direction and hope it's the right way. <laughs> This is my last? Alright. Ha! This is working out for me. Fuck! Now it's not anymore. It's okay. This is fine. This was working out for me. Alright, so my last match after this one is going to be a hunter match as full gold. All right. Time for a full skull match and then wrap it up from there. And once again, if by some chance the little girl player ever stumbles upon this stream, I am so fucking sorry. I did not mean to insult you like that. Oh, I feel so bad. Um, okay. I, I was just commentating how I found the accessory to be annoying as Hunter, but I feel so bad now for saying that <laughs> right as he swapped. <laughs> um, please don't ever t please, please, I hope you don't take offense. And thank you for playing with us, Jesse. <laughs> right as I talk about the balloon again, there it is. There it fucking is. Okay. Life, please do not smite me because I was being mean to the child's balloon.
All right. Got you. Okay, so I can't... Got it, so... Norton, what the fuck was that? That was pathetic. Most hunters, do something... Just very over-the-top and extravagant, Norton. Whee! Norton, that was sadder than my fucking depression. How dare you? Uh, can't use left click, but then I can't attack or do anything at all. And I'm already in the middle of a match. That's true. But I want to practice with Norton, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to uh, skip out on that. <laughs> Next time though. Gotcha. Yeah, next time when I'm not trying to practice a uh, character, I'll do that. Um, I'll do that bam. Fuck. Ma'am, this is not the time to play with your robot. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Oh, they're that way.
Come here. Fuck. Okay, fine. Well, I got her on impact. Um... Okay, well, I can't catch up to her. I don't have anything. <laughs> Unlike the other characters I play, where there's at least some backup plan. I can do that, but it's not as efficient as uh, Nightwatch's ability. are you? Okay, I'm just gonna surrender. Here. Alright. So, that's gonna be it for tonight. Um, now that Thanksgiving week is over, um, I'll stream at least two more times this week, uh, aiming for at least three, uh, aiming for three, but I want two in minimum, and I'll let you guys know when those streams will be, uh, with that said, I'll see y'all later, have, uh, stay safe and have a wonderful night, all right? Bye-bye.